Hey Rocky fans, Rocky Balboa 101 here with my first Rocky movie review. As you can see, we're going to be doing Rocky IV, which came out in 1985 and was written and directed by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, now, the premise of this movie is that Ivan Drago, who's from the USSR, comes and wants to enter professional boxing. Uh, Apollo Creed wants to come out of retirement and still show that he's got stuff, and these two guys have an exhibition match, which ends in the death of Apollo Creed. Rocky, um, he wants to get revenge, so uh, he relinquishes wishes the championship belt. A lot of people think that when Rocky retired in Rocky V, he still had the belt, which is not the case. If you watch Rocky IV, you see he has to give up the title, and the fight is unsanctioned in Russia. Anyway, he goes to Russia. They both have a cool training montage, and um, they have their boxing match, and uh, in the 15th round, Rocky wins, and then he gives a speech to the Russian people. Uh, so a little bit Let's go in a little bit more detail of what I liked about this movie and what I didn't like, and like about the training montages and the music. Um, first, I want to give a fun fact. I'm going to try to do this in each of my reviews, something you might not know. Uh, when they were filming the boxing match, Sylvester Stallone told Dolph Lundgren, I really want this to look good. Let's really spar. So Dolph Lundgren's like, cool. So these guys are in the ring really sparring. Okay, well, Sylvester Stallone, after a while, he starts, he can't breathe. He's not breathing right, and he actually falls down. Well, they rush him to the emergency room, and they find out that at one point, Dolph Lundgren punched Stallone in the chest. And when he did, it caused his chest to compress and hit his heart, causing his heart to swell. And Sylvester Stallone ended up being in intensive care for eight days. They had to hold production on the film. And, you know, I don't care what anyone says about Sylvester Stallone, I mean, he might be, he's a risk taker, but man, I mean, he goes out there and gives it his all. I mean, this man's been injured, I don't know how many, injured so many times in his movies, but that's something interesting. I don't know if anyone knew about it, or maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but I thought that was really cool, you know, to show his dedication to make it look good. Um, let's talk a little bit about the training montages in the movie. Um, this movie has probably the best training montages, in my opinion. There's two of them and it shows the difference between how Rocky trains and how Ivan Drago trains. Drago trains all about, his training is all about um, technology and steroids, and Rocky is all about the wilderness and outdoors, and it was really cool to see the comparison between the two. Um, so I would say out of all the Rocky films, this is probably my favorite one with the training montage. And then you have the music, which was Vince DiCola, and it's awesome. I mean, it's very good music. Um, who can forget No Easy Way Out, The Burning Heart, and Hearts on Fire. I mean, those are awesome songs, and I, I still feel that they've held the test of time. You know, I don't think they feel too dated. Um, the final boxing match is really entertaining, and it's very good. Um, probably the most entertaining of all the six movies. So you got to give Rocky for that. And, and um, i got to say that overall, it's a very entertaining movie. Um... Adrian doesn't have much to do in this movie. Um, she, you know, is like, oh, I don't want Rocky to fight. Okay, I'll, I'll go along with it. That's pretty much all she has to do. In all the movies, I think this is probably the one that she had the least amount to do. And Paulie, he, he was okay in the movie. I mean, he still had his comedic elements, which was fun, you know, for Polly, you know, not his dark side like in Rocky 1 and 2. And uh, Duke, though, I mean, he had a huge part. This is his biggest Rocky movie. Um, I liked him in this movie. I thought he did a really good job. Um, Bridget Nielsen, who played Lumila Drago at the time, she was married to Sylvester Stallone. She did a good job, too. And um, Dolph Lundgren did awesome as Ivan Drago, in my opinion. He was the complete opposite of, like, Clubber Lang, who was all about trash-talking. I mean, this guy was quiet, cold, and calculating, and huge. So, I mean, that was, that was cool. Um... Some pros and cons of this movie, um, I mentioned Vincent DeCola did the music. I'm not taking nothing away from that because Rocky IV soundtrack is awesome, but there's no Bill Conti score in this movie. This is the only Rocky movie with no Bill Conti score, and I thought that took away a little bit from the movie as a Rocky film. Um, also, Sylvester Stallone, I thought he, this is the one movie he, that he acted like Rocky the worst, um, you know, Rocky, you know how he talks. He has kind of a slur, and he's slightly kind of slow. Um, this movie, it was like just Sylvester Stallone talking, I felt. Um, that's another thing that kind of took away from this film. And I know a lot of people are going to be against me on this, but Rocky IV, when I was younger, was my favorite film of all the Rocky movies. But now, uh, Rocky 
Rocky IV is probably my least favorite of all six films. And that's saying a lot for me because I'm a huge Rocky fan. I love all the Rocky movies, so when I say it's my least favorite, it's not that I don't like the movie. I mean, it's still a favorite movie of mine, obviously. It's just my least favorite of all the other Rocky films. Um, Rocky IV is, was the biggest box office success of all the Rocky films. It made $128 million in the United States and $300 million worldwide. And Rocky IV, to this day, is still the biggest sports movie moneymaker of all time. No other sports movie has made the same amount of money as Rocky IV did, and that was from 1985, so you gotta give Rocky IV credit. Um, like I said, the fight scene, I mean, you know, it might be a little unrealistic as huge as Dolph Lundgren is, as small as Sylvester Stallone is, um, but it was still very entertaining. You gotta give Rocky IV this, and I will say this, even though it's my least favorite Rocky, it is the most entertaining. If I want to sit down and watch a Rocky movie, and I'm like, want to just be in the mood to be entertained, I'll pick Rocky IV any day. So, um, there you have it. This is my Rocky IV movie review, and another one will be coming up sooner or later. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, post in comments if you think I should do anything different. Let me know. Thanks, guys.